in previous sections we saw that IT user mostly will be creating CDS views so CDS is very core component of SAP embedded analytics so we'll understand the theory of CDS CDS is nothing but core data services the definition by SAP is SAP core data services is an infrastructure for defining and consuming semantically rich data model in SAP HANA so CDS is uh, infrastructure where you will get a lot of option to create a lot of things we will be focused on creating data definition basically where we will be defining it we will enrich with a lot of options which we have called as annotation and it will be more than a view so basically we will be creating CDS views mostly in our system and will enhance it so it has more properties more metadata which will help us in consuming it further CDS comes in two flavor HANA CDS and ABAP CDS. HANA CDS is written in native SQL. This is basically on HANA where there is no ABAP layer. There is a core HANA database where you write CDS and use it further. So this is written in native SQL and it is native to HANA database. You can't use it anywhere else. It has to be on HANA database because that is the language only understood by HANA database. ABAP CDS on other hand is not HANA specific. You can write ABAP CDS even if you don't have HANA database at the back end. So if you have ABAP component 7.5 SP05, you can use ABAP CDS with other database like Oracle or DB2 as well. ABAP CDS has a ABAP layer. We'll be writing ABAP CDS in Eclipse tool where we'll have a ABAP layer and we'll be writing in OpenSQL. So you will understand even if you haven't worked on it, you will understand if you have basic understanding of SQL, you will understand how it works. Basically how you select the data from database is similar concept where we will be creating views basically. So ABAP CDS is not native to HANA. You can write it anywhere, but it is recommended that you have backend as HANA to get the maximum performance out of it. In HANA CDS, we have artifact design time and runtime both in HANA. In ABAP CDS, the runtime happens in HANA database or whatever the database you have and design time is written in ABAP layer. So both are different basically HANA CDS and ABAP CDS. But going forward, we will be concentrating only on ABAP CDS because this is where we will be creating all the things. So let's go further. So we will be creating mostly views, CDS views and we all know how views work in ABAP dictionary. If you haven't created in the past a web dictionary view, it is a very simple way of joining tables basically or selecting data from one table itself and presenting it as a view. The concept is same as a normal SQL database. That is a view, it's a layer on top of table basically. So this is a web dictionary views and now we have a web CDS views. Let's see the comparison. So it supports all kinds of databases, that's okay. Here we have inner join and simple selection only. We don't have much option here in our ABAP dictionary views, but here in ABAP CDS view, we have inner join, outer join, unions. We'll be working with inner joins and outer joins mostly, not unions, but options are there. And calculation, expression, segregation, grouping, all those kind of things you can do on ABAP CDS view, but those are not supported in ABAP dictionary view. This is a graphical tool which you use in SE11, and there are not much options available. And nested views, you can have view under another view that is possible in ABAP CDS views but not possible in ABAP dictionary views. So these are the basic differences we have between ABAP dictionary views and ABAP CDS views. As you can see ABAP CDS views has a lot of more features. It is code based and this is a GUI graphical tool based but ABAP CDS views has a lot of option because of that. Now let's see how we can consume CDS views. So CDS views are nothing but built on on top of SAP tables, how we used to create views in SC11, we will be creating CDS views in Eclipse on top of SAP tables. But there are various ways to consume it. You can consume it in a BAP program like we used to do with views. You can consume it in BW4HANA. You can create, you can enhance CDS views and make it a data source for BW4HANA. We have done it in our BW4HANA course and we will show you how you can do it in this course as well. We will be having videos on that. And CDS view you can consume basically in your SAP embedded journey where you can use it as a gateway with OData and consume it further in Fury apps or third party tools. And directly also you can consume CDS views in your Fury apps. We'll see 
what are the different options we have where we will be consuming CDS views directly into our Fury Launchpad. So these are the various options with CDS views which are available. So you can have one CDS view and you can enrich that with metadata called as annotation and consume it as you want. And we will be seeing how we can use same CDS at multiple positions. Like we will be creating consumption view, we will be creating interface views, we will create master data CDS views and we will see how we can consume CDS view as a data source. CDS view can be created as an API as well. It is different than OData, but we won't be seeing that because no developer creates API driven CDS views because it is for internal cross system communication. But we will create OData services. We also see smart business apps like we will be using it in various Fury forms that is smart business apps. We will learn about various UIs of CDS views may not be Fury relevant but other CDS annotation we will be checking and we will be using and we will be creating analytical query as well which will be used in multi-dimensional reporting. So we will try to see and cover as much as we can out of this and other than this we will be creating the KPI tile, drill down reports, custom analytical query and we will also see analysis path framework modeling, custom CDS creation, query browser all these kind of things we will be creating throughout the course and you will see what other various options are available for users which you can propose and user can use it while using S4 HANA system. Before going to CDS creation we will have a quick walkthrough of Eclipse or HANA Studio where you will be creating most of your things. We will see how it works and then we will jump into creation of CDS views. Thank you.